since it is still like the end of January, I figured I would take a moment to kind of take a tally of all the books in my collection that I have not read yet. So just a general standing of my overall TBR as of the beginning of 2021. <laughs> so yeah, I figured that would be um, a good start to things to kind of get a ball rolling. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will be showing basically a look through of my five bookshelves as they stand currently. And then we're going to see just how empty they get once I pull everything out that hasn't been read yet. And it's going to be a fun time. <laughs> This is awkward. <laughs> it's about on par with what I expected though, where things are maybe like two thirds empty. And I have got all kinds of stacks of books surrounding me right now. So I guess we're just gonna go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Harry Potter et le Coupe de Feu, Harry Potter et l'Ordre de Phoenix. Harry Potter et le Prince de Sangle, Harry Potter et les Reliques de la Mort, Alarm 18's The Essential Defense Against the Dark Arts, Monster Chonker, Alarm 18's Hogwarts A History, Alarm 18's edit a version of the Half-Blood Princess copy of Advanced Potion Making, Harry Potter Wizards Unite the Official Game Guide, The Science of Harry Potter by Roger Highfield, The Book Charmer by Kieran Hawkins, Somewhere in Time by Richard Matheson, Alice Hoffman's Water Tales, which includes Aquamarine and Indigo, A Walk to Remember by Nicholas Sparks, Timeline by M Michael Crichton, Outlander by Diana Gabaldon, The Princess Bride by William Goldman, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell, Scarlet by Alexandra Ripley, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, La Tour des Anges by Philip Pullman, which is one of the uh, His Dark Materials books in French, Les Vacances de Poudy Nicolas, Doctor Who Winner Takes All by Jacqueline Rayner, Doctor Who The Deviant Strain by Justin Richards, Doctor Who The Slovene Excursion by Simon Guerre, I Never Metaphor I Didn't Like by Dr. Marty Groth, Red Sparrow by Jason Matthews, Dead on Arrival by Matt Ricktail, Tuesdays with Moy by Mitch Album, Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk, Ink Spell by Cornelia Funk, Doctor Who The Complete Guide by Mark Campbell, The Toll by Neil Schusterman, The Testaments by Margaret Atwood, Les Aventures d'Alice au Pays de Merveille, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, Flawless, Perfect, Unbelievable, Wicked, Killer, Heartless, Wanted by Sarah Shepard, The Bird Box by Josh Mallerman, The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn, One Day by David Nichols, Ink Death by Cornelia Funk, One Summer in Paris by Sarah Morgan, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson, Mini Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella, The Bookseller by Cynthia Swanson, they Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera, Delirium by Lauren Oliver, Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver, The Book of Awesome by Neil Pashrika, Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson, Hollow City by Ransom Riggs, The One Memory of Flora Banks by Emily Barr, The Hate List by Jennifer Brown, Elixir by Hilary Duff, Exit Pursued by a Bear by E.K. Johnston, My Favorite Half Night Stand by Christina Lauren, Not If I See You First by Eric Lindstrom, What Alice Forgot by Leanne Moriarty, Crest by Marissa Meyer, Stars Above by Marissa Meyer, Goodbye Days by Jeff Sentner, Memoirs of a Teenage Amnesiac by Gabrielle Zevin, 
What I Lost by Alexandra Ballard, Hyperbole and a Half by Allie Broach, Adulting, How to Become a Grown-Up in 535 Easy-ish Steps, In Some Other Life by Jessica Brody, The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith, What Light by Jay Asher, To Rise Again in a Decent Hour by Joshua Ferris, There Will All Doll Omnibus, Beautiful Darkness by Kenny Garcia and Margaret Stoll, Beautiful Chaos by Kimmy Garcia and Margaret Stoll, The Forgotten Book by Mechtil Glossop, Paper Towns by John Green, Letters to the Lost by Brigid Kemmerer, More Than We Can Tell by Brigid Kemmerer, Shopaholic Ties the Knot, Shopaholic and Sister, Shopaholic and Baby by Sophie Kinsella, No Safety in Numbers, No Easy Way Out, No Dawn with Dark Darkness by Dana Lawrence, Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore by Robin Sloan, As Old as Time, A Disney Twisted Tale by Liz Braswell, A Whole New World, Another Twisted Tale by Liz Braswell, and A World Just Right by Jen Brooks, Untamed, Revealed, and Redeemed by PC Cast and Kristen Cast, Love Blind by C. Desir and Jolene Perry, My Sister's Keeper by Jodie Picoult, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Love and First Sight by Josh Sundquist. So I've already read Fellowship of the Ring, but I still have yet to read The Two Towers and The Return of the King from the Lord of the Rings series by J.R.R. Tolkien. It's kind of a funny story by Nan Fazzini, Ugly, Pretties, Specials, and Extras by Scott Westerfeld, The Program by Suzanne Young, and Real Life by Joey Graceffa, Binge by Tyler Oakley, Tentation, Hesitation, and Revelation, an official guide to Disney World 2004. Don't ask. <laughs> it was 50 cents. Journal 29, which is an interactive book game. What If It's Us by Becky Albertalli and Adam, Adam Silvera. Joe and Lori by Margaret Stoll and Melissa De La Cruz. Alex Approximately by Jen Bennett. Unbirthday, A Twisted Tale by Liz Braswell. Long May She Rain by Rhiannon Thomas. China Rich Girlfriend by Kevin Kwan. Love Life in the List by Casey West. Doctor Who The Shakespeare Notebooks. Genuine Fraud by E. Lockhart. Invictus by Ryan Groudon. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by Al Frank Baum. Turbulence by David Soleil. Doctor Who The Book of Universal Records. The Dazzling Heights by Catherine McGee. The Towering Sky by Catherine McGee. The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai. People Like Her by Ellery Lloyd. The Look Like by Erica Spindler. Conceal Don't Feel, A Twisted Tale by Jen Cam Kalanita. Hunted, Tempted, Burned, Awakened, Destined, and Hidden by PC Cast and Kristen Cast. This Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. Always Looking Up by Michael J. Fox. Beautiful Redemption by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. French Woman Don't Get Fat by Muriel Guillaume. Meant to Be by Julie Halper. The Similars by Rebecca Hanover. Call It What You Want by Brigitte Kemmerer. A Historical Tour of Walt Disney World by Andrew Kist. Someday by David Levithan. Save the Date by Morgan Matson. The Nanny Diaries by Emily McLaughlin and Nicola Krauss. Queen of Hearts by Colleen Oakes. The Art of Asking by Amanda Palmer. Nemesis by Brendan Rex. Genesis by Brendan Rex. Percy Jackson and the Olympians The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. Mindwalker by AJ Stagger. Love a la Mode by Stephanie Kate Strum. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian. Always Never Yours by Emily Wipperly and Austin Sigmund Broker, Horror Store by Grady Hendrix, The Unofficial Harry Potter Character Compendium, Muggles and Magic by George Bean, The Lovely War by Julie Berry, The Other Side of Heaven by John H. Groberg, Universal Orlando 2015, Styling for Instagram, Streetwise French, Romeo and or Juliet by Ryan North, A Winter's Promise by Christelle Davos, Doctor Who 11 Doctors 11 Stories, Again But Better by Christine Riccio, the Sorcerer's Companion. Uh, this one is also read through selective chapters ages ago, but I haven't done a proper read through yet. Which is Beach and Source Books uh, for Teaching Young Adult Fiction Exploring Harry Potter, which is by Elizabeth D. Schaefer. The Ultimate Unofficial Guide to the Mysteries of Harry Potter. Keep Me Posted by Liza Beasley. Matched by Ali Condi. As You Wish by Carrie Elwes. This Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle. I Can't Make This Up, Life Lessons by Kevin Hart. Friend Request by Laura Marshall. Nanny Returns by Emma McLaughlin and Nicola Krauss. I Am America and So Can You by Stephen Colbert. Rhett and Link's Book of Mythicality. Yes, No, Maybe So by Becky Albertalli and Aisha Saeed. Because You Love to Hate Me. Kill the Next One by Frederico Exa. The Great Pretender by Susanna Cahalan. This Time Next Year by Sophie Cousins. Recursion by Blake Crouch. Color Me In by Natasha Diaz. The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow. 
Then We Came to the End by Joshua Ferris, White Oleander by Janet Fitch, Betrayed by Emily Henry, Raw Deal by Stephen Hill, For Better and Worse by Margot Hunt, The Space Between Worlds by Micah Johnson, North and South, Love and War, and Heaven and Hell by John Jakes, In a Holidays by Christina Lauren, Red, White, and the Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, Renegades by Marissa Meyer, Miss the Book of Atris by Randon Robin Miller, Doctor Who The Coming of the Terror Files by Michael Moorcock, The Sarless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern, That Will Never Work by Mark Randolph, Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, How Not to Die Alone by Richard Roper, Landline by Rainbow Rowell, Paris by Edward Rutherford, Contact by Carl Sagan, Final Girls by Riley Sager, Lock Every Door by Riley Sager, and Home Before Dark by Riley Sager, The Other Me by Saskia Sargenson, One Day in December by Josie Silver, The Two Lives of Lydia Bird by Josie Silver, Enchanté by Gita Trudis, The Hidden Power of Ethna by The Dry Guys, Tiny But Mighty by Hannah Shaw, aka Kitten Lady, Benjamin et la Fée des Dents, and The Doudou de Benjamin, French children's books, you. And the very last book that I have on my shelves that I haven't read yet, at least up here in the office library, um, is Doctor Who 50 Years, The Essential Guide. And yeah, that's where we stand so far in 2020 with books that I haven't read yet. Last year I did about 125 books. 2019 I got around 134. Ace. So hopefully we'll do pretty similarly this year. Though I'm a little bit off to a slower start because I've been distracted with puzzles. They're so addictive. And I've just got a puzzle board so I can actually do them again for the first time in like four years. But I'm gonna get it under control and make sure that we read it at a decent pace. If you have already read any of these books and think I should move them up higher on my TBR, um, other than, um, I mean, all of them really, <laughs> but really though, um, yeah, if there's any that I should move up to the top of my TBR, let me know. So, yeah, hopefully I will get through a good chunk of them this year. But um, that's it for today, and in the meantime, if you need anything, I'll be reading.